Hey there, Wrinkled Runner here. Today we're gonna to talk about an interval app that you can use on your phone to let you know when you should run and when you should walk during a run walk. Good especially if you're a beginner runner, if you're getting back into running, or if you wanna go a longer distance than you have in the past, you can go that distance while running and walking to give yourself a break. It's called Intervals, and I have it on my Apple phone. I'm an Apple girl, and so all my apps are Apple apps. And I know there are other ones that you can get for Androids or Windows phones. So what you wanna look for is, an, is a HIT app. HIT is High Intensity Interval Training, and they have apps for that. Um, people use it to go really hard or really fast in a certain exercise and then it will tell them when to stop that exercise take a rest and then start that exercise again but for a runner you can use that as the run walk uh, prompt so you're gonna want to look for intervals in the App Store if you have an iPhone so you're gonna go into the app and this is your home page right here you're going to go down to the menu button add new timer and you can see they have some pre-configured workouts in here already. And one is a, a walk-run workout. So if you hit that, you're going to go down to the run because you're going to want to do it for more than a minute probably. So we're going to use an example of an eight-minute run with a two-minute walk, which would be a total cycle time of 10 minutes. So you're going to scroll down to the eight-minute, use the check mark at the bottom to make sure that it does it. Then you're going to go back hit the walk and you're going to do the duration for two minutes for that now when you're when you're back into the workout you're going to scroll down no rest in between number of cycles this has six already so the six cycles with the 10 minutes is going to be an hour run walk this actually i don't know why there we go should be just two minutes okay so that is for a run walk the other way I like to use this app is as a fuel prompter on my long runs I like to start my carb replenishment about 45 minutes into a run and so I go into add new timer and quick setup or custom I go into add new timer and then custom interval timer so what I want to do is for the first interval, interval one, I'm going to go 45 minutes because I'll already be carbo fueled for the long run for my breakfast or my lunch or whatever I've done. So I don't start the carb load until about 45 minutes in. So that's my duration for interval one. For interval two then, after that I want to take in gummy bears or my Noka superfood pouch or it, or cliff blocks for every 15 minutes after that usually. So then I set it for 15 minutes for that one and that's interval two. But because I'm doing a long run which might last like four hours, I have the 45 minute thing go for a repeat count of one but interval two I want to do for a much longer period of time so the repeat count for this is going to be I I set it usually very high and then I can cancel it at the end but if the long run is much longer than I think or I run into issues then at least I know it's going to keep prompting me every 15 minutes until I'm definitely done with my run so your repeat count for the second one is going to be 20. So go back and you're going to see that number of cycles for this is going to stay at one. In the run walk, we had the number of cycles at six to keep us going for an hour. This number of cycles is going to be one because the 15 by 20 is considered part of a cycle. So that's how you use it as a fuel prompt so the paid version is $4.99 and with the paid version you can put in as many in, uh, timers as you want to. So I have a walk run set up, I have my fuel prompting one set up. 
in the free version you can only do one at a time so you're gonna to have to reset it each time but I have found that the free version works really well and I used that for a long time before I upgraded to the paid version it also works with your Apple watch and so as you're running those prompts will come through as the haptics uh, the little bump on your wrist which works really well it also integrates with your workout app on the watch so you can have both of them running at the same time in order to do that though you need to do something in the app so that it doesn't override your workout app and this is how you do that okay so from your home page you're going to go to the edit section and you're going to go down to the running under apple health and you're going to scroll all the way down to here and you want disable fitness tracking set to the green. That way you'll be able to use this app and your Apple workout at the same time. So I really like this app for run walks and for fuel prompting and I highly recommend it. You can also find other interval apps that would probably work just as well for you. So don't forget to click subscribe down below. I'll put a link down below to the post over on wrinkledrunner.com if you'd like to see pictures of it and the explanation in text form.